They say that they see your guys' shadows. Whoa. Hello? Where are you at? Oh! Something just came running at me. No! Oh! Crap! I heard you! Tonight, my brothers and I traveled to Sumner, Illinois to investigate Pine Lawn Manor. Over the years, this facility has served the community as a nursing home, as well as assisted living for the mentally disabled. During this two-part investigation, my brothers and I will document some of our most compelling paranormal evidence, along with video footage that will leave us all speechless. Closed December of 2005. Here we have a nurse's station. That was here when you walk in. If you come down this way, here's where you would go in for like, if somebody was putting somebody in the nursing home and they would talk to them, do their paperwork and everything. And then down on this hall is where they would have rehab for the people that resigned here. And through those doors there, there was a room off. It's the last room to your left. They had it set up for the nurses for if there was bad weather. There used to be also a phone that hung there and they would say that between the hours of 10.30 to 11, it would ring, but it would only ring twice and then it would quit. So does this place have a history of being haunted? Yes. They said that they've seen apparitions, that there's a lady in a black dress that would run the hallway. These are the halls that were active and had your residence down here. I've been told that there's a lot of activity out of this room. A former nurse who, he was a male, and he passed away in the nurse's station down there. You get a lot of activity down there. The piano is still in here because that nurse that I'm talking about, he liked to joke with people and make them laugh but he would also play the piano. Somebody had said that these were put on because they had a resident and he would like to go by and knock all the time on it for him. But this is where all your residents were at when it was active. Of course, you have your residence rooms behind you. There's curtains hanging up. There's still some names on the door from some residents that were here. Timmy there, I was told, passed away in that room. That was his room and I was told that he passed away in it. This hallway here will be hallway two again, where more residents were. We have a doll here that there was a resident and she would wheel her wheelchair up and down the hallways and she liked dolls. So she liked playing with dolls. I was told that they interact with bells, they interact with the dolls, they like things that light up, they like noise. And I figured that's mainly because when they were doing their physical therapy and stuff to try and help them. So they do like that. Hallway three, which is also known as Red Hallway. And this is where the male nurse had passed away. I'll hear a lot of activity from this hallway. You'll hear things fall, like something's being thrown or something. Belong to the gentleman that used to pick up the pop cans. This was his room and I was told that when he was working on it that he passed away with a heart attack. This is the nurse's station where Ed, the former nurse, passed away in here of a heart attack. This is their break room. Still got the lockers for the people that worked here. What's that? I just heard a van. Yeah, as soon as we started walking out, I heard that was voice. I just heard a man, Josh. What's that? I just heard a man. 
Residents weren't getting turned, sheets weren't getting changed, showers weren't getting done, they weren't getting their proper meal fed. Two residents had escaped from here and they found one in a field close here over by 50 and then I was told he was a larger man and he was found uptown in a ditch and he had passed away. I don't see that spider. It looks like a... Oh, it was right behind you. It's like a spider web. I walked right through a spider web. Yeah, it was like I walked through a big spider web. Hey, Tammy, we'll be back to talk to you tonight. Any other spirits inside this nursing home, we are going to be here with you tonight. Well, I was actually sitting in this exact spot where I'm at right now, and I got this burning sensation on my back, and I walked over to Tony and had him look at it, and he lifted up my shirt, and there was two claw marks on my back. I didn't feel anything weird that night, but then the next time we come here, I had a really uneasy feeling. The most uncomfortable feeling I've ever felt in my life. They really don't like me here. I couldn't explain it. The energy here for me is just, it's ridiculous. Whatever's here, obviously I don't want him here. I don't know what that is. I mean, something was affecting him personally. We seen a shadow in the hallway. That freaked me out and I went outside and wouldn't come back in for a while. And he had about the same experience. Yeah, that was he the, was with me. <laughs> that was the night that I was feeling real uneasy. And then we ended up seeing all that and both of us just walked out at the same time. I think most of the traction went off when that cat ball went off, didn't it? Really? I had to go back and watch that. This particular room right here, like if you set something up for like an EVP and you walk out of this room into the janitor room, I mean this this thing will pick up EVPs almost every time. I bet you we could do it right now and I'll pick up an EVP. I was standing in this area right here, I walked away and on the video it looks like something's following me out. Weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. I guarantee you guys would be impressed with this. Ain't that the crazy shit you know I'm saying? Now he had his phone set right beside mine. We was recording at the same time, and this is the top view of this right here. Set it over here, chumps. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that is. You guys want to try and name me real quick? Yeah. I got Sean, Josh, and Rocky here tonight to talk to you guys. Is that all right? Are you gonna scratch me again when I come back tonight? While filming this EVP session, our X camera in the main hallway captures this unexplained ghostly figure. You can hear Anthony asking questions in the background. Could this dark figure be a former resident of Pine Lawn Manor? Show everybody here what you're made of. You like us being in here filming? You guys hear that? Mm -hmm. Through 
here tonight, it's gonna look like uh, Freddy Krueger nightmare on Elm Street. No. Tell me I'm wrong. You come down this hallway, and the way the light shines in this hallway, I mean, it's creepy as. I was walking down this hallway right here, and there was nobody behind me. And when I walked, I heard a marble hit the damn floor. If you're in here by yourself and you tell them to throw something at you, there might be a good chance that you're gonna get thrown, something thrown at you. It wouldn't have shocked me if you did, honestly. And this would be the hallway right here. Okay, so tonight we are gonna be here at Pine Lawn Manor. This is an old abandoned nursing home. I'll tell you what, just walking around this place during the day, these long hallways, it's like super creepy. A few of my favorite places to investigate are nursing homes, hospitals, and asylums. Right now, Rocky and Sean's getting the equipment ready. So I just wanted to come through here and do a walkthrough before it gets pitch dark. It is just creepy walking around here. This right here is the um, cafeteria. Now there's this hallway back here that they said is like where a lot of the activity is. There's only been a few people in here to investigate. A few people have ran out of here. They were so scared. We've had people scratched and touched. People have seen dark shadows, heard moaning. Hello? My name is Josh. My brothers and I are gonna be in here tonight to talk to you. This hallway. Are you down there? This little doll was sitting up. So this little doll right here, they use as a trigger object. There's a kid here. I'm not for sure why there would be a kid at nursing home, but one of these doorways has got the name Timmy on it. I don't know which room it was. We have Norma, Marsha, Angel, and Timmy. Was this your room? Timmy, they say that you like this little doll. I'm going to set your doll right here by the window. Timmy, were you laughing? Can I hear you? That hallway down there is the hallway they call the red hallway. And that's where investigators have been attacked down there and been scratched. The bad thing about this is the door I came in is the only door to get out of here. So if something happens, you have to basically run through the entire nursing home to get out. As you can see. And Rocky and Sean are out there. 
So I'm not going to go to the red hallway by myself. I'm going to stay right here. They say that they see your guys' shadows. Whoa. They say that they see your guys' shadows. Whoa. Hello? I'm just here to talk to you. We're gonna be here with you all night tonight. That was so loud. Something's walking in the red hallway. If you're in that hallway, can you come out here with me? Are you a patient here? I've got to try to go down that hallway. Who did I hear back here? We're going to come back there later tonight. Can you hit something for me? Yeah, that hallway is definitely creepy and I'm not going back there by myself right now. I'm gonna go get Rocky and Sean. We're gonna get all the equipment set up, all the alarms, cameras. The sun's about to go down and we'll start our investigation. still there. So you guys see the doll is right there. That's another thing that room right back here. You guys see where that light is right there. They've seen shadows block out that doorway before. And there were a couple guys in here walking through this hallway, and they thought that the other investigator was with them, but when they got up to the cafeteria, he was sitting in the cafeteria. So, okay, this hallway's like crazy dark. That's without night vision, that's what I see right now. Who did I hear knock earlier? Where are you at? I did not bring a light with me. Was that you? Cameras focus unfocused. Focus camera. I heard you. Oh. That sounds like something moving furniture down here. It is so freaking dark. Anybody that's investigated nursing homes, they're like the creepiest place to investigate. Because you think of how many people must have died in a place like this. Can you hit that again for me, please? I'm going to get my brothers and we'll be back, okay? I keep sitting here and like something walking with me.
Are you following me? Get the camera behind me. Okay, I'm going to go get Rocky and Sean. We'll see if Sean walks around this place by himself in the middle of the night. Bro, that place is creepy. You walk the whole thing or? I went all the way down. I didn't go down the red hallway. Over here? Yeah, because that's like super creepy back there. Yeah. Yeah, I walked all the way down to the red hallway. I heard a loud bang in there. Did you get back here to that room when you met me and Anthony and stuff? I didn't go all the way back there, no. It's a little creepy by yourself in there. Oh, yeah. Okay, right now we're at Pine Lawn Manor in Bridgeport, Illinois, getting ready to start our investigation. This was a nursing home that started back in, at least we know, the early 70s, and it just closed in 2005. It's got a lot of history to it. There's been very, very few people that's been in here investigating. The ones that have, there's a few that's ran out of here scared. We've had people scratch. They've seen dark shadows. Are you by our toys? Do you hear that? Mm-hmm. I was in here and talked to you earlier. Are you in here with us right now? Are you by our toys? You can move the ball or knock something over. Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah, I heard yeah. walking and it sounded like, I don't know if it was a voice or somebody singing. Yep. Where the heck did I come from? That was down here. Do we hear you? You feel like a cold breeze. Can you do that again for us, please? We thought we heard you. We're three very nice guys and we're here to talk to you tonight. Timmy, we brought all kinds of stuff in here for you to mess with. We got alarms, cameras, toys. Who did we just hear? Were you a patient here? When I got down earlier, like the closer I got to that red hallway, the more stuff I was hearing and like the creepier feeling you get. And that's where the stuff's coming from. I think that's uh, and down that way, Josh. Yeah. And they do say that they see like dark shadows peeking out these doorways. Tammy, we got another alarm down here. Or whoever we're hearing. If you get close to those alarms, it'll light up for us. Yeah, it's like the close whoa, whoa. Josh, in here. Would you? I just heard something get thrown. Oh yeah, this room's creepy. You got a flashlight on. I can't get that light off. Right behind you, Josh. Go back there. Hello? 
Was this your room? My name is Josh. These are my brothers, Rocky and Sean. What is your name? We're gonna come to the red hallway where it's creepy, where you have scratched people. Let's sit here for one second and see if we hear. I heard a loud bang from that hallway earlier. Are you back there? Did you hear that? Hey, are you back there? Oh yeah, this hallway's freaking creepy. Who did we hear back here? We're here looking for our grandmother. She was in room 401. I feel like something just freaking touched me. Did you just touch me? That was like a light, like a woman's touch. It's like the third time you've had something happen on back here, you know, around your face and neck. It's okay if you want to touch us. Whoa. I felt like something was back there. You want to show? It was down there. Ed, we are in your room. What was that? Something move or? Ed, can you hit something again for us? EVP session in Ed's room. Ed, my name's Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. If you can see us, can you give us a response, please? Ed, my name's Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. If you can see us, can you give us a response, please? All we can do is go to that room where they were getting the EVPs, like we did earlier, set, that, set this recorder, ask questions, and then go back and listen to it. Josh, I it's right here at that. Okay, so right now we got an EVP voice recorder. We're gonna try EVP session. Any spirits inside this nursing home? We are here to talk to you tonight. Can you hear us, yes or no? Were you a patient here in Pine Lawn? If you try really hard, you can talk to us. Did you just touch Rocky? It was like, it wasn't somebody touching it, it was like something just like, like brush right past it. It was very strange. It's like my freaking neck and everything's getting really warm. 
Are you touching Sean right now? All three of us have been touched tonight. That's weird. Well, it feels like it's like my shoulders right here and stuff are on fire. Is my back there? Sustaining her during that hallway. That was freaking scary. Okay, head up. Let me know you're here. Make a noise for me. You guys keep talking to it. It was like somebody answered you out here, Sean. Yeah, I thought I heard something. What's your name? Had a ball of light out here. Are you out there with Josh? You can come in here. Can you set this alarm off in front of me? You did it once when we was in here. Thank you. Don't touch my hand. Some touch you, Josh, you said? I'm trying to get this ball of light to come to my hand. Oh. Can you do that again for me? Let me know that you're really here. Oh. Is this the same person that's with Josh right now? Walk up to the table for me. I got my hand out here. Come touch my hand. Please. Yeah, it was weird. I was getting like this ball of light like shining around. Yeah. As soon as I stuck my hand out, it went away and hasn't come back. Okay, I moved my hand. Can I see you again? I like some kind of moment. That's why it's hard to tell. Do you hear a voice from Josh? Uh-uh. It's -uh. like moaning. Yeah. It's like really quick. If you was out there with Josh, can you come back in here? Uh, something's pressing on top of my hat right now. Are you touching me? Can you press harder? Freaking weird. Holy crap. Was you are you trying to touch are you touching me? You did. Just your light up there. That's where it says alarm off. Can you set the my alarm off? Are you trying to figure out who we are? Whoa. What? That was really loud. Did you hear that? I can't tell if it was like something like metal drug across the floor. 
Or it hits. It was definitely in the hallway because you know how the hallway has that echo. Yeah. It definitely had an echo to it. Oh, ball of light. Can you hit that again for us, please? This hallway is freaking cold, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're here to talk to our grandmother. Whoa. Did you hear that? Yeah. That's Sounds like a chair. That's what I thought I heard earlier, like something dragging across the floor. Okay, let's stop here and see. Back here. Shh. Our grandmother's about ready to die. We want to see her before she passes away. It's back here, Josh. Is there a room back here? Off to the left? Yeah, that's the same room that Sean heard. Oh, nice. Maybe. Okay, let's wait right here. Is this the room that you stay in? in there. Footsteps in the hallway. There was something in there. You seen it? No, I heard it. What it sound like? I don't know. It's playing like a gulp. We can help you. I feel like something just breathed cold air right in my face. Are you in here with us? You go next door and set that alarm off? Did you just breathe in my face? It's weird because you get like those slight touches, soft voices. You know, like an elderly person, how they speak softly. You hear that? Mm-hmm. Freaking loud. Or keep her walking down there. Rock, you got that SP7. Here's something say what? What the hell was that? I was a kid. Something said what? Okay, let's back up. There it is. Okay, we're backing away. Okay, we're out of that hallway. We've heard you down here. You can walk up to that alarm, it won't hurt you. This place isn't that old. I know you know what electronics are. <gasps> Thank you. Josh, um, have it stop and then ask it if it's the kid in turn. Can you walk away from that? If that's the child named Timmy, can you walk up and turn that on for me, please? Thank you. Timmy, why were you here? Did you like living here? Were they nice to you here? If you want to say yes, just set that off, okay? Timmy, were they mean to you? Whoever's trying to communicate with us, can you walk up to that again, please? I'll tell you what, standing back here at the end of the hallway, it's creepy. Whatever it was must be gone. Can you come back? You know, nursing homes do have younger patients and stuff. Hmm. Ones that, oh. What was it? Shadow huh. right down towards that door. Was that you? Sorry, 
Yeah, you see how like you see that light off to the um it's like something went right across that light right there. Okay. Now it's back here. Now let's try to talk. Oh, Give me that camera, Sean. Right right there. Right by the alarm. Was anybody filming down there like a second ago? I was filming, filming but I think I was getting the other wall. No, I had the light on, but my man caught it. Timmy, is that you? Can you just make that light up with no sound? Are you trying to get us to follow you to your room? Timmy, if that's you, we got another alarm in your bedroom. Can you set that off? It plays music. There's a little stuffed animal in there too. somebody that's not nice and what's weird it is it's like the touching is like so faint oh. come out here I keep getting all kinds of shit out here okay. check all the camera batteries and stuff just hear that I swear I guess heard that moan again I heard like a thud yeah, that GoPro's good. You just walk around with the um, little Sony. Is that your doll?
You want us to come in here by ourselves? Something's moving down here, Josh. So I feel like elderly people love me, so... It's down that way. Okay, well, we're gonna send you in by yourself. No, so. get down here first. I'm telling you, it sounded like something was, like, crawling. And I seen a mist. Wouldn't that be creepy if you were in here by yourself, walking around? And this elderly person in a gown kind of crawling down the hallway? Did I just hear you? Yeah, it's weird because the voices you hear are like real faint. Yeah, they ain't loud. Put your hand out. It's like freaking Ice Cube right here, right now. Timmy, if you're here, can you protect me and make sure nothing tries to hurt me, okay? On next week's terrifying episode, we go in solo. Oh, something's freaking following me. I can, it's freaking loud footsteps. It's freaking crawling on the floor or something now. As we go live with thousands of people from around the world watching, and we are going live, all hell breaks loose during one of our most terrifying nights. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. So we're gonna walk around here. Oh, did you hear that? Whoa. Oh. Okay, this is the creepy hallway. Who's back here scratching people? Are you back here? Who is the child? Kid, did you guys hear the kid? Something daddy. Oh crap, that looks like kids' shoes and blood. Is there a kid back here?